Hello Booktube, welcome to Lizzie Faye Loves Books, I'm Elizabeth, and the summer is winding down, school has started, and I am coming out of this readathon frenzy that I've been in. I did Booktubeathon, and Tom Topple, and then the 7 and 7, and I just recently learned that the authorathon is going on right now, and I just don't think I have the energy to do another readathon at this moment, although I really did enjoy doing the authorathon last year. But I thought I would just do a quick video today and show you what I have checked out currently from the library. I've got a few movies and a few books. Most of them are books that I think I will read before the end of the month. I am in the middle of a couple of books that are my own books, but the majority of the books that I believe I will read between now and the end of August are library books. So I mentioned movies. I do have a few movies checked out from the library that are adaptations from books. Uh, one that we've already started is The Lost City of Z. This is based on a book by David Grann. It's a true story and we started watching it the other night and we just didn't get all the way through it. It was getting late. So my husband and I will both be finishing this one hopefully before too long. And then because I have finally finished reading Harry Potter, I have been watching the movies as I read the books, but I have not had a chance yet to watch The Half-Blood Prince, so I have that checked out. And then I have both of the Deathly Hallows movies as well. Then I have a few audiobooks checked out. I have The Prisoner of Heaven by Carlos Ruiz Efron. This is book three in the Cemetery of Forgotten Books. I'm not sure how quickly I will get to this, but I noticed that Elizabeth Tyree, who was my buddy reader for the first two, already had it checked out from her library, and so we may go ahead and read this. I told her just to let me know when she's ready to start it, and I may go ahead and get started on this one as well. I also have checked out The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the Trials of the Apollo series. We do have a copy of this in print. It's actually Katie's, but since I will more than likely listen to it on audio, I went ahead and checked this out from the library. And speaking of Rick Riordan, I also have checked out uh, The Hammer of Thor, which is book two in Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. Now I do have my own copy of the Magnus Chase books. I got this for a Christmas present last Christmas. And I decided to go ahead, though, and listen to it on audio and then follow along in the book. It's narrated by Kieran Culkin, and I'm enjoying it a lot. I started this after I got done with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, and I am almost halfway done with it. And then a few other books I have checked out from the library. I picked this up from the Bookmobile. This is Banana Cream Pie Murder by Joanne Fluke. This is the most recent book in the Hannah Swinson Baking Mystery series. I'm all caught up with the series except this one. I went ahead and grabbed this from the Bookmobile when I saw it, but I probably will get the audio from the library. But there were two copies in the county and they were both checked out. So I will hopefully get it pretty soon. But meanwhile, I've got these other audiobooks to listen to, so I'm not in that big of a rush for this one. The next one of our Sunshine State books that I plan to read is The Shadows of Sherwood by Kekla Magoon. This is a Robin Hoodlum adventure, so this looks fun, and I'm about halfway done with all of the Sunshine State books for this school year that's just starting. So I need to make a push to go ahead and get the rest of them read. I am going to be helping to come up with the questions for Book Bowl now that I don't have a child that's participating in Book Bowl. So I am looking forward to reading this one. Another library checkout that you've already seen if you watched my last couple of videos. This I tried reading for Tom Topple. I only got a little ways into it, so I am still working on it. I'm trying to read about 40 pages a day to get it done by the end of the month. Now, I think I'll be able to go a little faster now that I'm finally getting into the story, but sometimes I just have a hard time making very much progress early on in a book, especially a big book. So I think the more I get into it, the faster it will go, but at least I gave myself smaller bites to chew <laughs> each day so that I can eventually get it done, and that way it just psychologically helps me to, um, to get it done and it's Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. A, a couple of other library checkouts that I just picked up a couple of days ago, and I don't know if I'll read them right now or not, but I had just heard about the authorathon, and I saw that one of the challenges was to read a graphic novel, and I didn't really have any graphic novels on my TBR that I'm really wanting to read this year, 
But we were in the library, and I noticed the shelf there, and I just kind of browsed the shelves for a few minutes, and I thought, well, since I'm reading Magnus Chase, and I know little to nothing about Norse mythology, I went ahead and picked up Thor. And so I thought maybe this would give me a little more insight into Thor and Norse mythology, and so Thor. And this one I just kind of picked up by accident. I was walking down through the stacks looking for something else, and this title caught my eye. It says Bath Pond, and it had little oranges here, and I thought, Bath Pond? What does that even mean? And so I picked it up. It's by Lowell Teal, and it turns out it is a historical Florida fiction book, and it sounds really good. In fact, this picture here of the couple with the orange grove reminds me a lot of a photograph that we have of my husband's great-grandparents standing in an orange grove much like this when they first visited Florida and made the decision to move here from Canada. So this just sounds like a really interesting book. I don't think I'm going to get to it right now, but I just thought I would show it to you. I put it on my TBR, and at some point I do want to go back and read this. And I showed it to my husband. I think this is definitely a book that he would enjoy as well. So that's what I have checked out currently from the library and pretty much everything that I'm currently reading. The only other things that I'm currently reading that didn't come from the library is Sister's Choice by Emily Richards. And actually I'm listening to the audio of this through Hoopla, which is through the library. And then also The Four Loves by C.S. Lewis. I have a copy of that, but I'm listening to it on Hoopla, which is through the library. So the library comes into play with all of these books. So those are just the books that I have checked out right now. and what I will more than likely be reading between now and the end of August. So what are you reading right now? What do you have checked out from the library? I would love to know. That's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.